The Raiders Collection event is finally upon us and it's brought tons of amazing things. The best game mode ever to grace Apex, Winter Express is back, Watson got a god awful heirloom that I still can't believe people are buying, but most importantly we have custom reticle colors in the game now allowing you to fully optimize what color you want to have. This is such a big game changer because before we were limited to only using colorblind modes to change how our reticles looked, and it was kind of annoying because on top of changing the reticle it also changed every single color in the game so you had to relearn callouts and what color was what. So hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the Moses 8 Second Gaming and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down three solid reticle colors with a fourth that's a little bit more advanced. But now you may be asking yourself, why do I even need to change my reticle color? The default works perfectly fine. And that's a fair question. For a lot of people, the basic colors are good and will work well. These are more in depth and some reticles can blend into the background or not stand out as much leading you to miss your shots. The ones that I'm going over today are built around standing out most of the time, being vibrant and colorful enough to not blend in, and also not being overly done so you don't get distracted by them. I personally play tested these in game and I love every single one of them, so let's start things off with number one and this is my main color and the one I will probably be sticking with. This is a nice neon green color to achieve this you want to go for 62 red, 255 green and 19 blue. But do be aware when you hit apply after typing the numbers in manually some of the numbers may change a little. This is just the way that Respawn has programmed it, don't worry you're still getting the same color of the reticle that I used. It's nothing to be alarmed about. Now this neon green may be kind of a weird color for some people, but the reason I love the green so much is because it's backed by science. And who doesn't love science? The human eye is most sensitive to the wavelength of green, and also we have the best distinction between the colors of green. So for the few times this color does blend into the background, you will subconsciously have an easier time picking it out from the other colors. I did run this one all through Pro Scrims the day of release and absolutely loved it. Though this was on World's Edge, I never really found myself losing it at all. I highly recommend trying this one out and seeing for yourself. But if green is not your thing, then maybe color number two will be more your speed. For this, let's take a look at Cyan. The color Cyan is used a lot in other games such as Valorant because it contrasts really well with the color of the game. And the same applies with Apex. There is a default color for Cyan you can go with, but I preferred mine a little bit brighter. Writer. For this you want 41 red, 255 green, and 241 blue. This one is a lot brighter because I found myself losing the default color in the sky too often when shooting Valk teams or in Winter Express on skydiving teams coming out from respawn. This and the fact that Apex does have a lot of blue color schemes on all the maps is one of the main reasons I didn't like Cyan at first, but a bit more playing with it I started to find myself enjoying it more, and honestly I did find this one more visually appealing than the neon green. I haven't had a chance to test it when shooting people in water and I feel towards the south side of storm point by barometer and fish farms, I may end up losing it a lot more because that area of the map is very bright and very blue. So if you guys use this color let me know how that area of the map feels, would love to get a nice sample size of people and gather some collective thoughts. But just quickly before we hop into the next color, if you guys are enjoying things so far and finding this video useful, please do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video. And if you want to keep getting these amazing apex tips and tricks videos don't forget to drop a sub to the channel. And if you want to be notified when these videos come out, hit that bell. That way you get them as soon as possible. But now diving right back into things, let's talk about our last main reticle and that's going to be a pinkish color. It kind of dances the line with being a purple though, so that's why I say pinkish. For this you'll want 255 red, 27 green, and 209 blue. Now I'll be honest, when I first saw people talking about pink sights, I thought it was just a joke, something people use but it was never that serious. But I decided to test it out and I actually kind of liked it. Though it felt good in most cases, there were some times in really red areas where I had a bit more trouble seeing it. But that's my only real complaint, other than that I was able to clearly see it and I felt like I was really beaming people with it. And I have to admit it does look really nice and it's easy on the eyes. If you're a streamer, maybe try this one out, your chat will probably love it. But now for our final reticle and this one is the most complex. This is a black color reticle and no, I'm not joking. I do want to give a warning though, this involves going into your apex files and changing them a bit, so be careful and don't mess your game up. Here's how to get there, you open up your computer files, go to users, username, saved games, respawn, 
Apex and there you'll find your profile. Once you get to this profile, you need to go inside it and set your reticle color to 0 space 0 space 0. This will activate the black reticle. Save the file and after that go to properties and in attributes set it to read only. But after you do this, be careful, don't go to custom reticle settings because this will change it back to default stuff and you'll have to do these steps over again. Now I personally will never run this, not because it's hard to set up, but I don't like the black site in other games and I often find myself losing them. But I do know that a lot of people really like it because it's minimalistic and can lead to them hitting more shots and hey, use whatever you're comfortable with. And I just want to finish this video off by saying two things. Number one is you don't have to use the sliders. You can click on the colors and type in the numbers manually to get the exact same sites I was using. The sliders are very weird and very inconsistent, so don't waste too much time with them. And number two is that it's okay to play around with colors. You can always come back to this video to get the numbers back or try a new one. So say you like the green one, but you want it just a little bit darker, then make it darker. This is what's best for you. Play around with the settings and use Use what feels right. That's part of growing and becoming a better player. Thank you all for watching though. I really hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, again, please do drop a like on the video. It honestly does help us out a lot. It shows us what kind of videos you guys enjoy so we make more like this in the future. And if you've made it this far and haven't hit that sub button yet, now's your chance. Go on and smash it. And while you're there, ring that bell to be notified when we post new videos. We do daily, highly educational Apex Legends content aimed at making you the best Apex player you can be so you won't want to miss it. Once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming and I will see you in the next one.